I'm running a spirit run right now. So the final distillation for my spirit. And I realize I get a lot of questions about how I make distillation cuts and I do everything based on taste. So I'm going to try to document what I'm tasting for my distillation cuts right now. And uh, I am taking the four shots, right? The first stuff that's coming off the still and putting that into its own separate carboy right here. I'm aiming for about 4% of the volume. So this is 45 gallons, which would be a little under two gallons. So for me, I'm going to take a two gallon four shots cut and then I'll start collecting the heads. And the reason I collect heads is to just decide whether or not that's going to be four shots or or going to make it into the final spirit so um for me right now the four shots they do smell nice um i'm getting a lot of like vanilla whipped cream and caramel and like runts like banana as well as um, a little bit of green apple so they smell pretty decent but when i taste them is when i get like the solventy kind of alcoholic a little bit a little bit like bitter solventy taste to it and so that's why you know that's why i don't keep it i am collecting heads right now and we're getting close i'd say it's we're probably not there yet there's still a little bit of a solventy astringency but as far as the aromas go there's like tons of vanilla whipped cream so lots and lots of sweetness on the nose the palate is also sweet but that bitterness yeah not ready to call it hearts yet we are definitely into the hearts now so i've collected a little bit about a gallon into the hearts just to make sure and the way that i know that we're into the hearts is that solventy uh kind of bitterness is gone and i'm left with a lot of fruits and custardiness and yogurtiness on the nose there's raisins it's really nice and then on the palate that fruitiness carries forward with the creaminess and yeah, that bitter solventy thing is gone. So we are collecting the hearts now and we'll be here for a while. I collected about nine gallons of hearts and things started to taste a little bit grungier. We weren't quite in full-blown tails territory. Like I wasn't getting full-blown noodliness like I normally do. However, I start to get this like cinnamon pine cone note and uh and yeah that was present so i switched over to what i call maybes which is kind of like my is it tails is it still hearts um and i'll collect a little bit of that and set that aside to deliberate once i've finished taking all of my cuts but yeah it's got a little bit of this like muted cinnamon pine cone thing that's just a little bit on the grungy side to me and feels a little less like hearts we are definitely in the tails and for me that hasn't gotten noodly yet but it still has this mulchiness and i yeah it's a little bit earthier that i want it to be a little bit more of like fruits that were really really soft and overripe that you dropped into some mulch. This sounds kind of nice, but for an unaged rum, I am going to consider those tails rather than consider that spirit. Um, I think it could potentially age out really nicely, but this is going to be bottled unaged. Anyways, I just did a whole round of deliberating and tasting to figure out whether or not I was going to keep the heads and or the maybes. And I tasted this alongside my first batch of baseline. And 
baseline, the first batch was a lot fresher, a lot more crisp and not quite so fruity and grungy. However, this batch of baseline has a little bit more fruits to it, whether that's because the fermentation temperature was lower or slower or something, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but we've got a little bit more fruits on this batch. And that's what I was picking up predominantly in the hearts. Now, the maybes had some of that grunginess, that cinnamon pine cone bordering on like a wet mulch thing. And I also made some tinctures that included adding in the maybes and adding in the heads to the hearts. And when I tasted that completely blended together, I thought that it just took on the qualities of the heads and the maybes in a negative way, right? It now just had a bit of solventiness and a little bit more grunge to it. So it felt a little disjointed. However, when I mixed just the heads and the hearts, I was getting a little bit more of these like crisp, bright fruits um, and not much solventiness. And I thought it really complemented the hearts really well. So after going back and forth multiple times, um, trying to prevent my mouth from going numb <laughs> from sipping high proof spirits, I ended up deciding to keep the heads and toss that in with the hearts. And I do not believe I'm going to keep the maybes. Well, I'm going to keep the maybes, but I'm not going to toss it in for the spirit. So I think we have our final spirit here, which includes the heads after a two gallon four shot cut. And it includes nine gallons of hearts. So yeah, just a little 10 and a half gallon batch of rum. So really, really small batch. And I am continuing to distill into the tails so that I can recycle that into next, next distillations and next batches.